Thank you for watching. Welcome to the channel. Now, you're probably here because you're interested in learning a little bit more about the iPhone X or the Samsung Galaxy S9. That's a mouthful, but I am not the expert. I'm going to I'm going to send you to his channel right now in the upper right hand corner. His name is Marquez Brownlee. Type in MKBHD into YouTube and his channel will come up. Hold on. Loud cars driving by. Hold on. Hold on. We're in an urban environment, folks. Again, Marquez Brownlee, MKBHD, into YouTube. He is the king of tech reviews and smartphone reviews. He's amazing. If you want to really learn about the iPhone X or the Samsung Galaxy S9, go to his channel right well after you watch this video. All right, folks, question of the day right off of the bat. I am struggling. I started with an HTC. That was my first smartphone back in the day. Then True Love and I saved up enough money to buy an iPhone 6S. That's right. This phone is three and a half years old and it's struggling. It's hanging on for dear life and the camera is ancient. And so I am discerning, you know, I love that word on YouTube. I'm discerning the future of my smartphone uh, tool and equipment for mostly work and filming the vlog for you. Now I film most of the vlogs with a Canon 5D. It's a big camera, it's heavy. And so I don't always carry it with me all the time. Therefore, I am intrigued to upgrade my phone from an iPhone 6S to another phone, another smartphone. Here are my top three points that I've been thinking about for what I'm considering before I purchase my next smartphone. Number one, most important, the camera, most important. Number two, the value, so how much does it cost? Number three, the speed of the phone, so the operating system, the software inside the phone. Folks, I am going back and forth between the iPhone series of phones or Samsung Galaxy phones. So the S8, the S9, and I've heard that the S10 is gonna be amazing. But I've also heard good things about the Google Pixel 2 camera. In fact, incredible things about the Google Pixel 2 camera. And I believe, I need to confirm this, that the Google Pixel 3 phone is coming out in the next month. I need to confirm that. I've, if you know, comment below, I'd really appreciate it. So, question of the day once again, do I purchase a new iPhone? Whether it's an 8, a 10, an iPhone X, which launches today, uh, a Samsung Galaxy S9, which again, I've heard great things about the camera, or do I go maybe the more value route with a Sony phone. I just saw a Sony phone in, in Best Buy and I was actually kind of impressed with the camera and the screen looked good and the price was amazing. So if you could help me discern uh, and ask me questions in the comments below, I'd, I'd really appreciate it or share your experience with the last smartphone that you purchased. All right, let's go into the mall. I'm gonna go check out some new iPhones right now. Come on. I almost forgot to mention, and by the way, I'm filming with the GoPro right now, and GoPro just launched a new camera, but that's another subject for another day. The fourth option I forgot to mention, do I purchase a new battery for my iPhone 6, which costs $29? Because that's the most dire issue with this phone, is that the battery life is on its way out. It's like th two to three hours tops, and so, do I, is that, that would definitely be the most value driven choice for the iPhone 6. Back at the shed, happy Friday night. A little glass of vino, don't mind if I do. It is 8 p.m. So the work does not stop as a YouTuber, a creator. You keep pounding, you keep trying to be creative for your community, your family out there on the YouTube. So thanks for being here. I'm discerning 
discerning, but I really, really want your opinion on iPhones, smart, uh, <laughs> I'm tired, Android phones, uh, maybe it's the Galaxy S9, maybe I wait until the Galaxy S10 comes out, any, or the Google Pixel 3, I just, you know, I was able to get my hands on a Google Pixel 2 today at that Verizon store for the first time ever, that was cool, I actually wasn't that impressed with the camera, I was just using it in the store, so I would, didn't really get to test it, but I wasn't too impressed, anyway, I've heard that the Google Pixel 2 camera is one of the best out there, through this process of filming today's daily story, daily vlog, I think I actually know my answer already as to what I'm going to do for a purchase for a smartphone moving forward, but I would love to hear from you down in the comments, like what do you do, how do you discern smartphone purchases, but I think I already know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to tell you yet, maybe tomorrow. Um, bottom line is this iPhone 6 is working still, except for Snapchat, for Facebook Stories, for Instagram Live, like my camera on the front of this iPhone 6 like doesn't work anymore. It's done, it's kaput. I think it's because I dropped it maybe on a 14er run, I don't know. So I have to use this camera here, which is very, very low quality. So sometimes you will notice that here on the vlog. Anyway, we love you guys. That is today's vlog and story. It's Friday night. We're going to go to bed. Well, we're going to relax and then go to bed and just chill out. So thanks for being here. You guys are amazing. Seek beauty. Work hard. Love each other. And yes, we will. See you tomorrow. Whoa, baby.